Now here is question number four. Now this is a very difficult question. Uh, let's see how to solve it. Sum of areas of two squares is 468 meters square. If difference of their perimeter is 24, then side length of one of the squares is what? Correct. You can actually pause the video, try to answer this question, then look into my suggestions. So we are given two different squares, right? So let us say this is one square and the other square is slightly bigger than this. Some of their areas, which is let's say A1 and A2 is 468. So we know that A1 plus A2 equals to 468. If I choose X as the sides of A1, then the area is X square, right? So this area is X square. Now, how do I get sides for the second square? That is kind of tricky to figure out. Now, for that, we are given that the perimeter is 24 more, right? So, for this square, perimeter is 24 more. So, so, so for A2, perimeter of the second will be 4x plus 24, right? 24 more than this. Perimeter of the first square will be 4x. You get an idea. If that is the perimeter, then what is going to be the side length for each? Side length will be 4x plus 24 divided by 4. Perfect. So which gives us x plus 6. So each side in this case is x plus 6. Now this is very important to understand how we got it. Perfect. So go through it once again. Since the perimeter is 24 more than this first one, Perimeter of the first one is 4x, 4 times x. This is 24 more. So we get new perimeter of 24 plus 4x. What should be the side length? One fourth of the perimeter. So 4x plus 24 divided by 4 gives you the side length x plus 6. So the area will be you have to add x plus 6 whole square and the equation becomes 468. Do you get the idea? So that is how you actually get your equation. And now you have to solve it to find x. So we get x square plus expand this x square plus 2ab which is 12x plus 6 square which is 36 equals to 468. Bring all the terms together. So 2x square plus 12x minus because oh, we'll have to take away right. So we'll take away 36 from here. So we get 468 minus 36. So that becomes 432 equals to 0. Now we could factor out 2. So if I factor out 2, I get x squared plus 6x minus 2, 1, 6 equals to 0. Now we need to factor. So we are looking for sum and product to get 6 as our difference. So one method is to use prime factorization. That's a very effective method I want to share with you. So you could divide this by, let us say 4 we can divide this, right? So 4 times 5 is 20, 4 times 4 is 16. Now 54, we could divide this by, let's say 2. So if I divide by 2, 2 times 2 is 4, we get 27. Now we are looking for difference of two numbers to be 6. Now that doesn't give you. So 9 times 3 is 27. So now we could combine 9 and 2, which gives us 18, and 4 and 3, which gives us 12. Do you see that? So 12 and 18 works for us. So their difference is 6. So we could write this as 2 times x since we need bigger number to be positive, right? So plus 18 times x minus 12 equals to 0. So that gives you one real solution which is x equals to 12. The other one 
in this case is minus 18. But 12 is not the option. Do you see that part? 12 is not the option. So that means we are given here the dimensions of bigger square, not the smaller one. We began with x. So what we found that x is 12. We found x is 12. So s could be 12 plus 6, which is 18. And therefore, option D is the right option. So we actually got the dimensions for the bigger square from the given options. Do you see that part? So that is how this type of question can be solved. So in a test of 60 questions, normally there will be five tricky questions. This is one of those. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.